hello everyone welcome to our youtube channel making investments simple and today i would be talking about uh, support and resistance levels little bit about them i know i haven't made uh, videos about this this particular topic before but uh, i would be may i have tried to simplify this particular topic uh, so that you don't have to rely on any uh, kind of uh, ex um, expert advisors or research analysts whom you do not know anything about so what is the support and what is the resistance of a particular stock you would have heard this topic a lot of times in uh, news tv channels and um, cnbc ndtv etc but uh, many people do not uh, know basically how how are these what what is this basically support and what is the resistance and also uh, even if someone knows it and how do they come to know how do they identify as support and resistance level so um support is basically um something where uh, if if the stock is actually falling then uh, support is is a place where there is a huge support there is a huge buyers available at that price or uh, people the the sentiments of people are actually so much high there that people are ready to buy from that level that is basically the reason it's called support level so um it's very rarely it breaks the support level and if it breaks then it's said that it is going to head more lower because uh, then then there is a very good possibility then there are more sellers uh, which have uh, um, which have broken the support level that that's how it it's broken so if you have a lot of support at that particular um, price and then um, if there are more sellers then it breaks that level so that's that's exact that is what support is about so resistance is exactly the opposite when the stock is going to an uptrend um, there is a very good chance that um, the profit booking will come at that price that is uh, that is where it is known as resistance levels <clears throat> so if if that breaks if that resistance levels break that means that there are more buyers who are willing uh, who who will overshadow overwhelm the um, the the profit bookers or the sellers at that price so that's about support and resistance level so you would have heard this and many people want to know the support and resistance levels to apply their own trading strategies etc this is something which is um which you can identify it yourself so once you go to an nsc india and uh, open um, option chain just just type um NSE India, um, NSE India um, option chain, and you will come to something like this: option chain equity derivatives, and put it for any stock. For example, here I would be uh, just just putting for Bharat Electronics, um, just for an example. Doesn't have anything to do with this, but you can put it for any stock. So, this is the stock for Bharat Electronics, and it is as you can see. um the, um the the stock is priced at 142 rupees 50 paise and um and uh, so once you reach this you actually have to um see see where exactly the oi oi is known as open interest you have to see where the highest level of open interest numbers are available so as you can see on the call side this is the call side which i am looking at and the highest open interest is at 150 rupees that's basically it means there is a huge resistance level at that time so uh, at that price that also means that there are many option sellers available at that price so that is a huge resistance there coming to the put side also we see the same oi column and you would see 1 lakh 18 and that is priced at 145 so 145 today it actually broke um, the first um, support level and it it is near the second support level which is 140 140 levels so if it breaks that then um, that that means people are willing to sell it more and uh, that is the reason um, this is this is an information which is readily available to you so if you if any of you are actually confused with the support and resistance level or if you are not sure 
uh, if someone is telling you a support and assistant go to this particular page which is freely available you can actually see this data available right there and you can even see this data on the live market too which keeps on changing so open interest in option chains will give you the support and assistance level especially if you are a, a trader in um, future and option segment that will be a huge huge uh, data for you and you can analyze it and based on that you can take your trading decision so that's um, that's my view on this that's my uh, and this many people already know about this these options but if you are new to it then it would have definitely helped you and based on that you can take your trading decision so hope you enjoyed this informative video um, if you have any questions or clarifications or suggestions for my channel please feel free to drop in a message or a comment or you can also inbox me on my facebook page for any kind of um, questions so thank you so much for listening to my video today and thank you and i will see you again on my next video